Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I am glad you made it. There is big news out. Effective October 1st, we just got a increase for some of our benefits. A monetary bump of 3.2% effective October 1st, 2024. Now, specifically what I'm going to be talking about here is five tracks, five different benefits essentially rolled up into one. Many folks only know one kind of piece of this five-pieced puzzle. So I am going to go through the individual tracks with you, talk about this, and uh, go from there. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel in other ways, consider being a member. Thank you so much to all you members. You can go, you can go be a member by going to the homepage. You'll see the highlighted members there and a join button. Thank you again. I really appreciate you guys. All right, so... V, R, and E, Veterans Readiness and Employment, often just really throws you down the road of, okay, I got to go, you know, go to college, get a degree, get into a different job. I, I can't have a job um, in order to get enrolled. And you know, we get all these kind of thoughts. All of that's not true. I had a job when I got enrolled into V, R, and E, although, albeit, it, I applied, was denied, applied, was denied, applied, was approved. Uh, but I ended up getting approved to um, go through VR&E, and I completed out my degree there, and uh, I had a job. So you don't have to not have a job. It's just a little harder, maybe. Uh, and then it's not just, let's get you into uh, an educational program that can land you a, a different job that you're more uh, that's more suitable for you with your disabilities and so forth. So I wanted to dive into those uh, different tracks. The uh, increase that we have realized is a 3.2% increase uh, due to consumer price index, uh, which is funny because it's this, that's the same that we had last year for COLA, but this is applied to VR&E at 3.2%. And um, last year it was a 6.2%, which was substantially higher than what we realized. Again, they're using consumer price index uh, information as well uh, to bump up this benefit. This benefit will pay you out monthly, which is fantastic uh, if you get enrolled. Now, what I wanted to do here is I'm going to front load this with the five tracks. We'll read into them a little bit and, uh, and kind of go from there. Then we'll back back into kind of the eligibility and the payments amounts and all that stuff. So what exactly does VRNE provide for you, a disabled veteran? And oh, by the way, as far as the eligibility piece is concerned, as a veteran, you must have at least a 10% rating. Now, if you have that 10% rating at least, and it interferes with your life, you know, somewhat substantially, um, then you could potentially get uh, uh, approved for VRNE. Now, again, there's five tracks. We're going to read through those now because most folks only think about maybe one or two and you could be shortchanging yourself. Uh, keep in mind that this could be for you, a loved one, a friend. So uh, please listen on. All right, let's jump into it. VRNE supports and services tracks. If you're a veteran or service member with a service connected disability that impacts your ability to work, the Veterans Readiness and Employment Program, formally called Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment, uh, may be able to help. We offer five support and services tracks to help you get in to get education or training, find or keep a job, and live as independently as possible. Hmm, kind of an interesting twist in what they offer uh, because again, most of us just think employment. Explore different tracks and find out how to apply for benefits and services. All right, so the first one here. Um, I'll, I'm going to read you the headline on each of them and then I'm going to jump into them a little bit. So, re-employment track is number one. Number two is rapid access to employment track. Number three is self-employment track, which could be a fantastic option for many, many veterans. Uh, so that's three. Four is employment through long-term services track. Five is independent living track. Okay. Independent Living Track falls under the benefit of VRE, Veterans Readiness and Employment. Well, guess what? None of us are getting any younger, and uh, this might be something we should know about, um, either for ourselves, loved ones, friends, and so forth. So let's jump back to the top, and we'll read into it a little bit. If you're a veteran with, with 
a service-connected disability, the reemployment track can help you return to your former job and support your employer in meeting your needs. Let's see. I'm clicking on a hyperlink here to see what it takes us to. All right. So, uh, VR&E reemployment track. As a veteran, you're protected under USERA, the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act. This means you cannot be disadvantaged in your civilian career because of your service. If you are a veteran with a service-connected disability, the reemployment track can help your employer accommodate your needs. Your vocational rehabilitation counselor can provide a full range of services and can refer you directly to the Department of Labor to begin the process. Find out how veterans readiness and employment can help you return to your former job and support your employer in meeting your needs. And uh, so this is what I'm going to do for each one of them. So that's one. Let's jump into the second one here. Just give you, again, the overview. Next one is rapid access to employment track. If you want to find a job or career that uses your existing skills, uh, the rapid access to employment track can help you with your job search. Now, diving into it a little bit more to give that overview, if you want to follow an employment path that uses your existing skill set, the rapid access to employment track can help you with your job search. We offer counseling, rehabilitation services that address your abilities, aptitudes, and interests. Find out uh, if you can get veterans readiness and employment benefits and services to help you use your existing skill set to find a job. All right, next one is self-employment track. Self-employment track is if you uh, are a service member or a veteran with a service-connected disability and employment barrier, the self-employment track can help you start your own business. Now, diving into this one uh, for the overview, if you're a, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but let's go on. If you're a service member or a veteran with a service-connected disability or and or employment barrier who has a strong desire, skills, and drive to run a successful business, you may be interested in the self-employment track. Find out uh, if veterans readiness and employment can help you start your own business. All right. By the way, some of the things that they'll do here is they will uh, uh, help you with coordination services and help with developing a proposed business plan, analysis of your business concept, training in small business operations, marketing and finances, guidance in getting the right resources to implement your business plan. So pretty good. Uh, gives you a kind of... Uh, helps you get you kind of aimed in the right direction, right? And and helps to kind of get some of those initial things under your belt. All right, two more left here. Uh, employment through long-term services track. This is probably the most common. If you have a service-connected disability and employment barrier, we can help you get the education or training you need to find work in a different field. Now, the overview here on this one is if you have a service-connected disability that makes it hard for you to succeed in your employment path, you may be interested in the Employment Through Long-Term Services track. We can help you get the education or training you need to find work in a different field that better suits your current abilities and interests. Find out if you're eligible for professional or vocational counseling and training through Veterans Readiness and Employment. The last one here is an independent living track. If you can't return to work right away, you may qualify for services that can help you live as independently as possible. Now, that's important. Let's jump into that. If your service-connected disabilities limit your ability to perform activities of daily living, like bathing, dressing, accessing community, and interacting with others, you and you can't return to work right away, you may qualify for independent living services through the independent living track. You may also receive these services if you work to find, uh, if you work to find a job that is that, let's try that again. You may also receive these services as you work to find a job that's a goal you and your vocational rehabilitation counselor have created. In both cases, your VRC can help you restore your daily living activities. Find out if you may be eligible for services through Veterans Readiness and Employment to help you live as independently as possible. A few of the things they do in that are evaluation and counseling to identify your needs and goals, referral to support resources, evaluation to see if you're eligible for the VR&E Home Adaptation Grant. This grant is part of your rehabilitation plan to improve accessibility features in your home. 
guidance to help you understand if you're eligible for our adaptive housing programs. These programs can help you make changes to your home like widening doorway, doorways or adding ramps so you can live more independently. These services generally last up to 24 months. In some cases, you may be able to use services longer than this. Now, jumping over to the dollars and figures side of it, um, depending on what you are doing, um, if you're going to school full time, we'll do uh, a couple different options. If you're going to uh, an educational institution in a full time capacity with no dependents, you're looking at $793 and zero, actually one cent and one penny, $793 and one cent per month tax free while you're uh, enrolled in the program. Uh, if you have two dependents, you're up to $1,159.17. The caveat here is if you have any post 9-11 GI Bill remaining, uh, you could receive up to $3,355.39. That's effective October 1st, 2024. Now, there's another row here. I skipped down a little bit. I'm just going to read through this. It says combination of institutional and on-job training on the job greater than a half non-farm cooperative institutional training and non-farm cooperative on job training full-time non-farm co-op on the job I you know that's a lot of I'm not sure work with your vocational rehabilitation counselor to really figure out where you fall uh, on this one it, it lowers things down a little bit um, so it says that uh, full-time uh, would be six hundred ninety three dollars thirty four cents with two dependents, uh, with no dependents, with two dependents, you'd be looking at nine hundred sixty six dollars and thirty one cents uh, per month. I would say that for most situations, again, most situations, you're looking at that first uh, first dollar figures that I gave you, which with two dependents, you're looking at one thousand one hundred fifty nine dollars and seventeen cents. Unless you have any post nine eleven GI Bill remaining, then it bounces up. So. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.